Welcome back to River and Institute of TAFE, Wagga Campus. We're going to have a look at the video session now. It's going to be looking at capacitors in series. So we've got a 100 microfarad capacitor and a 10 microfarad capacitor. So if I was to connect those two capacitors up in series, the calculation or the formula is 1 on CT is equal to 1 on C1 plus 1 on C2. Going to be equal to exactly the same as resistors in parallel, but this is caps in series. So 1 on 100 mic plus 1 on 10 mic is going to be equal to. So we'll do it on the calculator 100 microfarad inverse plus 10 microfarad inverse is equal to the answer. Inverse that is equal to 9 microfarad, 9 microfarad. So if I was to wire that up and confirm that this is the total capacitance of a series circuit, is equal to 9 microfarad. The circuit that we're going to wire it up is exactly the same as your book. If you go on this particular module book, 17.3, you've got one capacitor C1 and C2. So C1 there, we're going to we'll call that 100 mic, and C2, 10 mic. Now these particular capacitors, they're polarised capacitors, which means positive, we've got a positive and negative. So make sure when we wire them up in series, the negative goes to the positive, and then we're left with a positive, and there's the negative side, like so. And what I've got here is a capacitance metre. So this capacitance metre, or measures actually, it's an LCR metre, measures inductance, capacitance and resistance. So if I'm going to, expecting to measure 9 mic, I'll select my range, 20 mic there. I'll unplug those probes there. Negative, positive. We'll see what the total capacitance in series is. 8.6 mic. A lot of other multimeters these days, that's a that LCR meter, so I'll just unplug that one. And I'll have a look at another type of version of a multimeter. We've seen this multimeter before. These particular meters also do capacitance. You've got to be aware of what your multimeter does. Now some meters only measure up to 100 mic capacitance. These particular ones measure a bit more than that. You can see here it says 0.017 nanofarad. So these got capacitance in the leads themselves. So we can null that capacitance out. So I can plug that in. I'll unplug those two. Because I've nulled these leads out. So I'll plug that in, we'll measure that. And this particular meter measures 9.3 mic. So once again, both meters, it's around 9 microfarad. Next thing we'll, we'll have a look at is while the, the while we'll wire these two capacitors up to a simple DC circuit. So positive and negative. Before I turn that on, as per theory, which we should have discussed in class or online, had a look at, I'll put this meter in voltage. We're going to have a look at how the voltage relationship works in a simple series circuit. So the formula for capacitance Q is equal to C times V. Q is the charge in the circuit, the amount of Coulomb charge, capacitance C is the capacitance in farads, and V is the voltage in volts. And as we've seen before, the old triangle method, QCV. So if I was to transpose that formula, I could have a look at the total charge flowing through this circuit. It's going to be the same because it's a series circuit. So Q is equal to C times V. Now if I make the voltage 20 volts, so C total capacitance of that series circuit is 9 microfarad, which we've discussed. So it's 9 microfarad times 20 volts is equal to how much charge have we got. So I've already got the 9 microfarad, 9.09 .09 microfarad from before, times it by 20, is equal to 181.81 or 82 microcoulombs. So we'll call that 181.8 microcoulombs. Therefore, therefore, the voltage across each capacitor, using this formula again, 
V is equal to Q divided by C, therefore the voltage across C1. So VC1 is equal to Q divided by C, which is equal to 181.8 microcoulombs divided by the capacitance, and the capacitance of C1 is 100 mi, is equal to 181.8 microcoulombs divided by 100 microfarad, shift micro on this particular calculator, is equal to 1.8 volts. 1.8 volts. Therefore, the voltage across capacitor 2, VC2, is equal to Q divided by C, which is 181.8 microcoulombs divided by C2 is 10 mic. 10 mic is equal to. For those, we should start to even work out if there's 1.8 volts across the capacitor 1 and we've got a 20 volt supply, we're going to have 17.2 volts or thereabouts. 18 volts. Okay, so 181.8 shift microcoulombs divided by 10 shift micro is equal to 18 volts. 18, we're going to call 18.2 volts. We'll round it up to make that a nice, which is equal to so VC1 plus VC2 is equal to V supply. Equal to 20 volts. Have a circuit on your module books here. Here's our supply. That voltage plus that voltage has got to add up to the total supply voltage. The other interesting, interesting um, observation we see there that the most voltage is dropped across the smallest capacitor. So you can see there's 18 volts or thereabouts dropped across the 10 mic, and only 1.8 volts dropped across the 100 mic. The old trusty multimeter. So we'll turn the circuit on, 20 volts, measure the voltage across this one here, 100 mic, we should have 1.9 or 2 volts there, 1.8 and we'll measure across this 10 mic, we've got 18 volts. So we've proven the theory, we'll turn that off that the most voltage is dropped across the smallest capacitor. The capacitance in series is the same inverse law as what resistors in parallel is, parallel are, that is one on C1 plus one on C2 is equal to one on the C total. That's the end of the practice.